The median of a triangle, or a median of a triangle, connects a midpoint of one of the sides with the opposite angle. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is find the midpoint of each of the sides. Okay, so I'm going to do that by essentially just finding the perpendicular bisector of this side. So I draw an arc around that point, and do the same size arc around this point. Now where those two arcs intersect, if I draw a line through those two points, and let's move this over just a smidge, then this point here is the midpoint of this side. So if I connect these two points, and I'll do it with green, that is a median. Okay, so that's the median of that at that first angle there. So now I need to do essentially the same thing for this other side. Let's do this one in blue. Okay, so I'm going to need to open it up a little bit more. Um, if I don't, then the two arcs won't intersect. They might intersect too high for us, but let's just see what happens. Oops. That one's supposed to be blue. Here. Nope, it should intersect in the page, so that's good. Okay, now I just draw a line through those points. Let's move this just a smidge. Okay, so this is the midpoint of this side, so if I draw another line segment from this vertex to that point that is the next median. Okay. Now what I want to do is draw Okay, so now I'm going to find the midpoint of this one, and let's do this one in purple. Okay, so let's close this up a bit, move it back, draw an arc. Now let's do the same thing over here. Alright, now where those two intersect, draw a line through those two intersection points that crosses the this side at the midpoint. Okay, so let's draw a green line to represent the median. Now all three of the medians are not going to be congruent because this is not an equilateral triangle. Okay, however because it is an isosceles triangle two of the Oh, I'm sorry, if it's an isosceles triangle, two of the medians will be congruent. So let's check. These are the two that look like they may be congruent. So we just put our point here. And we just check and see how wide this is open. Okay, and you just see, is this one open the same? Okay, is this one the same length? And it's not. So this is not an isosceles triangle because these two, um, these two segments are not congruent. And this one is obviously shorter. This green one, this little one here, it's obviously shorter than the other two. So this is not an isosceles triangle.